up everybody thanks for joining in today i got a couple of little walkthrough tours i want to show you that some folks i met at o22 the first one is going to be an airstream it's not going to be a detailed walkthrough i am going to show you a very cool table that they install in there and the sinks were really nicely done i will not be talking over the video or in the video i'm just going to play some music and show you the scenes let's check it out really set this airstream apart was just the adding uh the decorative things that she did like the table i love that table that was amazing it looked like it came right out of mad max and the sink in the bathroom beautiful sink um well done on decorating and the backsplash was amazing you know all airstreams are beautiful they're well made but just those little changes that made it hers uh really set it off to me made it pop that's the great thing about living the nomad life or living in a van or a cargo trailer or a box van or a step van or a van, whatever. You can make it your own, make it your own style, whether it be new or you're building it out yourself or having it done. Add those little things that makes it you, makes it feel like at home for you when you're in it because you do spend a lot of time as a nomad in the vehicle that you live in or the trailer that you live in. So yeah, those little things can really set it apart. Right, part two, we're gonna go check out the Sprinter van. My friend Blackbird Flies, Marla, she had this built out. So let me introduce you to Marla. Hey guys, who do we have here? Marla Montgomery from Mount Dora, Florida. Nice, and what is your van? It is a 2019 170 extended Sprinter cargo Mercedes van. Nice. And did you, <laughs> did you have it built out? I did. We bought it as a cargo van in Florida and had it shipped to Portland. And are you full-time or part-time? Part-time. Part-time. And you're on, you're on a, you're in Oregon now. So you're on a cross country trip. How long will you be out on your trip? At the most four months. Nice. All right. Let's show you guys some shots of the van. <laughs>
slides for the garage are on 500 pound slides. Awesome. So this is a 500 pound slide. And then I have a work table that is on a 500 pound slide. Nice. I'm not gonna get up on it and test it, <laughs> but I don't believe it. And then our outdoor shower is right there. Right. Um, tell me a little bit about the doula, the, what you're doing. Oh, um, I'm a deaf doula and I specialize mostly in people that live alone, maybe I live alone in a van and they're terminal and they don't want to die at home alone. I mean, right. that's my biggest fear is dying alone. Exactly. And they don't have family or they don't want family around that I will come and sit with you hospice until awesome. you pass. Awesome. Awesome and very honorable job. That is nice. And it's a volunteer job. I don't, right, I don't... right. It's a volunteer okay. all yeah. the way. Yeah, yeah. Right, guys, what a nice van. And what was very, what really stood out to me is just the accents to it. Like the handle uh, to climb in, it was that mermaid. And the backsplash is some glass art, I believe, because Marla also does art uh, glass, like uh, really beautiful stuff. Um, and that backsplash was really nice. Um, and also what I liked was the slides in the garage that each can hold 500 pounds. That's a, that's awesome. And it's a beautiful build. Um, just the style of it and, uh, how it was laid out, the settings of it. I really liked it. It was very comfortable inside, uh, very homey. Um, I didn't show it, but she also has a composting toilet. Very nice. Uh, but yeah, a beautiful van in and out. Marla herself, a really nice lady. What a commendable uh, volunteering job uh, being a death doula like that. I uh, Most of you know that I was a caregiver a long time. I did a lot of hospice work and there's nothing like being there for somebody that does not have family or the family can't be there. It's a very rewarding job. It is uh, definitely you see life different when you can do that. Uh, anyway, uh, great job, uh, Marla. And also, Marla cut my hair. She uh, used to be a hairstylist. So, yeah, very cool. That that was a, a very nice Sprinter van. That's the first Sprinter van I've really been in and out of. And a, a very well done, for sure. All right, guys. I am not going to keep you much longer. I'm going to get off here, and I got chores to do today. I'm back to my parking spot, as you guys know. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And it's always a pleasure. And I am so grateful to all of you guys that have joined my journey here. Um, and thank you for all you do. This community is amazing. All right. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Peace out.